my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my baby Simon because he is finally five months old. I did film his three month video and his four month video but never uploaded them. But this one I was completely dedicated to getting up. I have been taking notes all month preparing for it because this month was so huge and I really want to document it and remember it for the future and I want it for him to look back on because he changed so much during this month. I'm going to be looking at my phone because I have a really long list in my notes app of all the ways that he changed this month. So the first thing I will get into is sleep. He had been pretty much sleeping through the night until four months and then he started doing this thing where we would put him down and he would wake up like an hour later every single night and sometimes he would go back to sleep really easily and sometimes it would take like an hour or two hours to get him to go down. So I thought that was probably the beginning of his form of regression and it went on that way for a couple weeks and then I decided that if he was going to be sleeping kind of erratically it might be time to start the transition to the crib anyway. So we tried doing one arm out of his swaddle for a few nights. I decided that we would do the Merlin instead. I was kind of like when all hell broke loose. Like he slept amazing in the Merlin the first night and then the next night was total chaos. We were like, all right, the Merlin's not working in his snoo, let's move him to his crib. So we did the Merlin in the crib. He slept amazing for one night and the next night he was up every single hour. Then we moved him back to his snoo in the swaddle. He slept amazing and then awful. Nothing is working. He's clearly going through his sleep regression. Let's bite the bullet and move him to his crib. Enter the two worst sleep weeks of his life worse than the newborn stage he was up every 15 to 20 minutes from 7 p.m until about 4 a.m we did that for about two weeks him and i were getting about three hours of sleep a night for two weeks straight and i was like this is not working this is not sustainable and it's not healthy and it's dangerous i decided that we were going to do sleep training we're on night 12 now and he has slept through the night the past two nights but it's not perfect even if he does have one wake up where he where it takes him like an hour to soothe himself it's still a million times better than what we were doing the previous two weeks and we're actually getting rest so it's safer. That's just what happened this month for sleep and I wanted to do that first because that was the bad part of this month and everything else was awesome. The next thing I wrote is that he's always talking but it's sad sounds. He had been cooing for several months but now he was doing like multi-syllable cooing like almost in a sing-songy way but he always sounded super sad when he did it. I wrote a light switch turned on. He's so much more present and active and aware. The best way I can describe it is that I feel like he became his own person. He has things that he's interested in. He has things he doesn't like. He just notices us more. When we walk into a room, he smiles. He's starting to reach for us and put his arms out when other people are holding him or when he's in his activity table. He has started laughing more. He did his first laugh at like three months, I think, but now it's just so easy to make him laugh. He likes being tossed in the air. There was this thing going around on TikTok like a year ago, and I don't know how to describe it. You put your arm up, and then you put this arm up, and then you like, so I do that to him, and he loves it. He goes crazy. <laughs> to be able to make your baby laugh and to help him develop a sense of humor. 
I would say now he's so much better at independent play and I attribute so much to his activity table. We decided to go with the skip hop activity table. You've probably seen that around. I'll insert a clip of him playing in it. This thing is a godsend. Five months today. Who eats five months? It gives me time to like do something other than hold him. I'm able to sometimes work out. Just the other day, I realized that he has two teeth coming in on the bottom. I just caught a glimpse of them randomly and they are like about to pop through. And along with his teeth, he has been drooling so much. I had to buy like 25 new bibs. He was drooling so much that he ended up getting this crazy drool rash all over his neck. It looked so painful. I don't think it was ever bothering him. Like he was never touching it, but it looked horrible. And it took us like two weeks to get it to go away. His fingers are just in his mouth constantly. Disgusting if you think about it, but I know it's totally normal and it's good because it's been helping him self-soothe at night when he inevitably spits out his pacifier he can just suck on his fingers in terms of eating my breastfeeding journey has been totally insane since the very beginning we weren't able to breastfeed for a long time finally got him to breastfeed but only with a nipple shield this past month he finally for the first time latched onto me without the nipple shield and I was excited for like a day and then I was like oh this kind of hurts and I still think that his latch is too shallow and it's just not gonna work. Basically at some point this month we just weaned off of nursing. Um, I've still been pumping and giving him breast milk but for the last like three months my supply has been crazy crazy low and i've done so much to build it back up and it's just not happening we do supplement with formula often and we're very fortunate that we found a formula that he can use interchangeably with breast milk it's not at all the way i pictured our journey going i wanted to completely solely breastfeed him until he was at least a year old and that is just not how it has worked out at all. He is still really crazy about eating. Like when he's hungry, there is no calming him down and he is like a lion in front of a steak when he sees his bottle. <laughs> he needs that thing immediately. And you can't even have the empty bottle around him because he will just go crazy trying to put it back in his mouth. Hey guys, Kayla from the future. I'm editing this video and somehow I lost the footage of me talking about giving him solids. At Simon's four month appointment, we had a different pediatrician than our normal guy. And this one told us that it was okay to start him on purees and I was totally taken aback because we had been planning to do baby led weaning starting at six months but she said that we should start introducing some foods to get allergens out of the way but since I am planning to start baby led weaning it I'm not diving so deep into it as I probably would if we were planning on doing purees long term so we have given him rice cereal and oatmeal for two weeks and then just last night we started him on vegetables that will be for two weeks then we'll do fruits for two weeks and then it's supposed to be meat and fish followed by peanuts i think but by then we'll be at six months so we'll probably start giving him actual food instead of purees he eats solid food the same way that he eats his milk which is insane and he like tries to yank the bowl out of our hands and is just a wild animal Okay, you don't have to help. You I don't need help. Yeah. He rolled back to stomach for the first time on January 2nd. Come on. You got it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Good job, Simon. Good job. Yay. I had been working with him on it so much. I ran to CVS and I get a video from my husband that he just did it. I was like, 
really Simon? Really? Like I can never leave the house again? Um, pretty much the second you put him down on his back, he rolls onto his belly. He sleeps on his belly now, which was terrifying the first night, but um, we have the Newton mattress. It was during that two weeks that he was sleeping like three hours a night. I was sleeping on the floor next to his crib and I woke up and he was on his belly and I, I like almost started like screaming. I was so scared, but he was fine. He was sleeping. But just in the last couple days, he's been getting up on his hands and knees. He does like a little downward dog kind of pose and he can scoot backward. Oh. Get a tail. Get a tail. Get a tail. You can do it. Go get a tail. He's laughing. <laughs> Go get the tail. Get the tail. Let's go. Go get that tail. Oh boy, he <laughs> licked your face. <laughs> you lick your face. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. Almost, almost, hey, almost. Hey, oh. Yay. He's doing it. Oh, almost yay. there. Almost there. He's doing it. At his last doctor appointment, he uh, was 14 pounds, 11 ounces. He was 26 inches long. And um, we were happy with that weight gain because he had dropped down into a lower percentile at his two month appointment, which is how this whole reevaluating nursing and breastfeeding thing came about. Since we started bottle feeding and supplementing, he has moved back up. He is wearing three to six month clothes and he has been since before he was three months. He's very long and his feet are big. He wears some six to nine month now. Um, and the last thing is just that he is so cuddly now. I thought he was going like through a leap and so maybe he was just more exhausted and um, needed to be held. Then I thought it was tied to his regression, but it's been over a month now and it's, he's just so cuddly like he loves to nuzzle into me i'm really trying to soak up these cuddles because it makes me so sad to think that there's going to be a day where he like doesn't even care about like hugging me anymore like i'm gonna cry <laughs> okay sorry he's just so cute we had been playing and then i he was getting like a little fuzzy so i held him and he put his head on my shoulder and then we sat in the chair and he fell asleep on me. He doesn't sleep as long when he's on me and I want him to get a full nap, but I was just like, this never happens anymore and it's so sweet. And so I just sat there and let him sleep on me. And it was a really short nap, but it was just a nice moment. So this last month has been so awesome. Like I, my friend just had her baby um, last week and I just was texting her today telling her that it gets so much easier at four months. Like I know this is when the regression happens, so it's a little counterintuitive that I'm saying it gets easier. The sleeping was really hard, I'm not gonna deny that. Him as a baby and the way he's developing his own little personality and his own quirks, that is so fun to watch and it's so rewarding. So that is my video. I know this was like more for me, but maybe if you have a baby around Simon's age, this is fun for you to watch or if you're pregnant and you can kind of see how babies change from month to month. I do have another video that's coming really soon. It's already filmed. I just have to edit it. It's going to be my newborn favorite products. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Bye.